Daniel Furlan is my name, and I'm the Assistant Secretary of the Australian Australian Association of Geelong, and I'll be your MC today. Uh, to be fair to all, can I please ask you to turn your mobile phones off or onto silent, please? Now, our celebration has been held on the traditional lands of the Wartharong Wartharong people, and I wish to acknowledge them as the traditional landowners. The Geelong Slovenian Choir had its beginnings in Bonagillo when my late father, Alois Fordalone, established the Bonagillo Mixed Choir in 1952, and then on his move to Geelong he established the All Men's Choir known as Loisa Bratlis, who gave their first public performance in 1954 at the Paran Town Hall. My father conducted the choir for the next 39 years as it evolved into a mixed choir and sang at Slovenian Mass here in Geelong each month and also at other Slovenian clubs by invitation. Mrs. Stanka Persic has been the conductor since 1993 and has done a marvellous job of keeping the choir going for the last 22 years. I've now asked the Geelong Mixed Slovenian Choir to make their way up on the stage to sing the national anthems. The Australian anthem will be first, followed by the Slovenian anthem. So I'd ask you all now to be upstanding and join in the singing of the national anthems. And let's sing it with volume, with passion. Let's lift the roof off this hall here. All join in and sing the national anthems. Slovenian Association Geelong, 
I extend a warm welcome to all of you in attendance here today. And what a celebration it will be if we follow the Slovenian traditions of music, song, dance, food, wine, and then of course more wine. We have some uh, official guests here with us today and I'd like to acknowledge those now. Firstly, we have um, Her Excellency Helena Donosik Zorko, the Slovenian Ambassador. Welcome, Ambassador. Thank you. Then we have the Honorary Consuls for Slovenia from South Australia, Adrian Bovlitz. New South Wales, Anthony Thomasin. <laughs> and from Queensland, Avenica Goyce Clark. <laughs> and I also wish to acknowledge Robert Walters and Mark Stariha from the Slovenian and Australian Chamber of Commerce that are here with the government party today. We have with us the Honourable Christine Cousins, State MP for Geelong. And I want to thank you for the rest of us. Welcome to David Liu. Thank you so much. And of course, almost their very own Sydney Greater Geelong Councillor for Cowley Ward, Eddie Comtel, who also holds the multicultural affairs within the Sydney Greater Geelong. And he's accompanied by the Lord of Kira today. Michael Martinez, OAM and CEO of the Versatat, who's with us today, and he's accompanied by his wife Robin. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realise Robin wasn't here, Michael. <laughs> Does she look a lot like Martha? Not <laughs> really. <laughs> uh, also, I'd like to acknowledge Peter Mandel, OAM, JP. Member of the Government of the Republic of Slovenia for Slovenians Abroad, accompanied by Wife Kimber. <laughs> and we also have Roland Carmody here. Is Roland Roland? Yes. 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 Past president of the SDN Club Melbourne is with us today and she's a family by her father Anton. And I'd like to especially acknowledge all Australians, I keep stumbling about that, don't I? All Australian Slovenian Association Geelong past presidents that are here with us today. We need to acknowledge you and all the hard work you've put into this club to get it to the 60th anniversary. Thank you to all. suffering wives of all the past presidents as well. <laughs> yes. I probably always wondering where the men were and they are always up here. And I'd also like to acknowledge Tanya Smagdell and um, Lenti Lenko OAM from SBS Radios. Both here with us today. <laughs> now we have quite a few apologies and I think it's important that we do note them. We had apologies from Sarah Henderson, Federal MP for Karangamite, Richard Miles, Federal MP for Karayo, Andrew Katos, MP for Geelong, John Irene, MP, Tony Ansett, City of Greater Geelong Council of Windermere Ward, which is the ward that this property is actually on. Uh, Livio Novak, past president, couldn't make it down from Wodonga. Milan Kakol from Slovenia Club Planitza and Springvale, an apology. Julia Champel was an apology from SDM Slovenian Club Melbourne. Romano Zetko from Slovenian Club Jadran of Diggers Rest. Ivan Zafuta from Slovenian Club Adelaide. Stefan Sernik from Slovenian Association Sydney. And Matea Habian and Sonia Rupnik from Radio 3ZZ. Now, I'll move straight on to the speeches. I'd now like to call on Aldo Fordlan, Vice President of Australian 
Slovenian Association in Geelong to talk a little bit about the history of the Slovenian club here and the association. He will speak in Slovenian and I will then present a loose translation in English after he's completed. So if you can make your way up, Aldo, and give him an applause. Marta, have you got his speech? He's brought up the wrong bit of paper. Use a jacket. Please check the jacket. I'll go. Spoštovani gosti in prijatelji. Prvi slovenci so začeli se naseljavati v Australiju proti koncu 1954 leta. Večina so pošli v Džolongi v ponedile. Začeti je bilo to težak, ker posebno zaradi jezika. Večina so našli službo tovarne. To je Ford avtomobila, internacionalni harvester in v Žici, to je AWI, Trevor Factory, ki so tudi med sebojno se spoznali. Med njih mi se je zgodila želja, da se organizirajo in ustanovijo slovenski klub. Leta 1954 je želel bolesničila in prve sestanke so imeli kaj kar v svojih hrčah in letah 1955 so zvolili prvi obor, v katero predsednik je bil Mimi Novak in istega leta so klub tudi uravno registrirali. In kot je naš klub vodil od 20 predsednikov, od katerih 11 več ni, med nami pa je ostalo drugih 11. Kmali so kupili zemlje zemljišče in to kar tri bloke smo poskušali v Belparku, ampak niso bili dovoljno veliki ili nismo imeli parkališča, tako da smo mogli le vsem priti na ta grič in kupiti malo večje zemljišče, ki smo lahko od nekaj si nadeli. Prva, seveda, dvorata naša je bila tista braka, ki še vedno tam gor stoji. In potem seveda, v 1975 smo pa zredili tisti del dvorane, ki je tam odlade in potem pa še nekde 80 leta smo pa začeli proširirati dvorano, tako da smo dodali še ta del dvorane, potem smo še napravili barvišče, še srzake smo ponosili na njih, ustanovila se je tudi glavstva družina, ki je pomeral se s drugim klubi v srednjem zračnem puško. Na kotornem polju smo imeli slovenski šolski pohub, ki še obstaja tudi danes in celo neko fotovno skupino, ki so večino mladi to delali. Vse to je potekal v prostovolnem delu in da ga že mnogo članov več ni med nami. V njih v spomini smo postavili simbol Slovenije, tri glav in zgradili kapelico. Sigurno sem, da bo klub še dalj nadaljeval in z mlajšo generacijo, pa tudi se starejšimi, da jim tudi pomagajo, tako da bo slovenska pesem in vlakba še vedno zvenela v naših osvojih. Naj živi slovensko društvo Čelo.
Gee, that was lucky. I thought for a minute I'd lost my um, English translation. <laughs> Maybe it's something to do with firms or that. Yeah. Towards the late 1940s, early 50s, the first influx of Slovenians started a lot settling in Australia. Most of those arriving in Geelong came from Bonagila. They experienced extraordinary difficulties, foremost of which was the language barrier. Most of them found jobs in the car industry, Ford, the tractor industry, International Harvester, and the wire industry, Rollins, AWI, Australian wire industry, where they met each other. And that's where they also obviously became acquainted with their fellow countrymen, etc. Among them was awakened the desire to organise and establish a Slovenian club. In 1954, this desire became a reality. The first meetings were held in each other's homes. In 1955, they decided to elect the first committee, led by our first president, Erminio Narak. The same year they officially registered as a club. Since then, our club has been led by 22 presidents, of which 11 sadly have passed away. <coughs> Shortly thereafter, the first committee invested in some land in Bell Park, which for those of you not from Geelong is a suburb, probably a couple of kilometres down the hill a bit, heading towards the sea there. However, soon they realised this plot of land that they purchased was too small. Our current acreage Uh, my apologies. Our current acreage was purchased in the late 1960s. The first humble building was a tin shed, fondly called the Baraka, where they regularly met and also built four bowling lanes. The first hall was built in 1975, in which we held monthly dances. The hall soon became too small and was extended in the early 80s. In the early 90s, a new undercover six-lane bowling alley was built to accommodate all the bowling competitions with other Slovenians from Victoria and throughout Australia. A hunting club was also established and it flourished within our extended Slovenian community using air guns during competitions. Over the decades, an active cultural program survived through many folklore activities and one which still thrives to this day is the Slovenian Language School. All of this is made possible by the innumerable volunteers and their dedication. Many of them no longer with us, however. In the memory, the symbol of Slovenia has been built. Triglav headstone out in the garden at the back of the building, and the Kapavica Shrine Chapel, which is also out the back there. May our club live long and prosper to the sound of Slovenian music and song echoing in our hearts and our club. And I'm sure many of us here to celebrate the club's 70th anniversary. Thank you. I'd now like to um, introduce Her Excellency Ambassador of Slovenia, Elena Donalcek Zorko. Uh, she presented her credentials to the Governor General Sir, General Sir Cosgrave on the 40th, 14th of November 2015. That can't be quite right, that's the information <laughs> I've been given. <laughs> See, <laughs> one of these, uh, that's okay. Uh, Helena has served as an ambassador of the Republic of Slovenia to Japan and the Republic of Korea, non resident, between November 2010 and July 2015. Prior to that, 2004 to 2010, she held the position of the head of the Division of the International Cultural Relations at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. 
focusing on intercultural dialogue and the role of culture in the external relations. She was also nominated the Slovenian Governor to the ASEF. She served as the first residential ambassador in Ireland between the years 2002 and 2004, and in Australia between November 1996 to June 2002. First as a consular officer, and from 1999 has charged the affairs of the embassy. Helena, I welcome you, and could you please come up to the stage? And I was here in Australia. 
and so they were young um, and they realized, because they went to the Australian schools, how difficult it is to keep the language if it's not the language of their environment. And uh, I think that uh, you can, we can still learn a lot from you and from your experience. I wish you and the club all the best. I wish you a bright future. I know it's not easy. Uh, I know that um, we are all getting older. And I know that younger generation have their own ways. And uh, they don't have a lot of time, but they're still coming here, and they will. And I wish the club as well a very bright future. And thank you for having me here. Thank you, Helena, for those um, kind words. Yeah, it's not easy, but I think you know that here at this club, certainly we're trying our best with the Slovenian school and we're certainly encouraging the younger generations to come up here. And we've recently, from a very generous grant from the City of Greater Geelong, established a children's playground and a new barbecue area outside that we're hoping will attract new generations up here, families, kids, etc. And that's really where the long-term future of um, Slovenian clubs are, I think. We just need to get those younger generations coming up, and it starts with the family, very much so. I'd now like to call on um, Christine Cousins MP, the Honourable Christine Cousins MP. Christine was elected to the Victorian Parliament in 2014, when she was successful in winning the MLAC to Geelong. Welcome, Christine. Thank you. I'd firstly like to acknowledge that we're meeting on the original uh, owners of the land, the Wollongong people, and pay my respects to their elders, past, present and future. I also, um, with respect, won't go through the acknowledgements again, um, but I will acknowledge um, uh, Councillor Eddie Contell and um, Michael Martinez from Diversitat, but all of you, importantly, who make up the Slovenian Club. It's a real honour and a privilege to be here today to join in your celebrations for your 60th anniversary um, and to share with you the rich history that you have in this Geelong community. The Slovenian community plays such a valuable role in our Geelong community and I want to acknowledge that today. Um, I appreciate what you do for our community and obviously it's, it's been a long time, 60 years is a long time, so I thank you for your contribution to the Geelong community. Uh, multiculturalism is a great thing and Geelong has a great multicultural history um, and, and that's really important, but I also think we need to build on that and improve that. Um, and I know um, Councillor Eddie Contell and Diversitat would share with me the views that we need to improve what we already have. When we have the likes of Pango Festa, which I'm sure you're all aware of, um, what happens after that's over? What happens after the different community events? The statements about um, multiculturalism and how important it is. It's, it's more than just making statements. It's about doing things. Um, and I think it's, it's, for us, really important that we now have um, refugees coming into Geelong. And, you know, I just heard that um, many of you or your family members were refugees back 60 years ago. So you would have a good understanding of what it must be like for a lot of the refugees that are coming into not only Geelong but Australia and Victoria. So Victoria's committed to taking on 4,000 refugees, the Syrian refugees, and some of them will come to Geelong. And I want to be working with Diversitat, with um, people like Eddie Contell, to ensure that we do it properly. We should be taking refugees and we should be supporting them, and a multicultural city like Geelong should be able to do that and do it very well and do it better than we have in the past. Um, I think we need to embrace multiculturalism, um, keep that theme going through our community because it is so important. We, we've all come from somewhere, apart from our traditional owners, we've come from another country. 
So we need to remember that when we hear people start saying, well, we don't want more refugees coming in our, into our community. Well, we all came from another country somewhere, unless we were Indigenous um, people. Um, we have to continue our social inclusion programs and keep that agenda working really strongly. And I'll be working hard to ensure that we do that and that the Slovenian community and all others have a voice at all levels of government. So, and I forgot to say, Dobada. Is that right? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Christine. Well, and this speaker probably doesn't really need much introduction to most of us here. Um, it's Eddie Contell, who is the City of Greater Geelong Councillor for Cowie Ward and holder of the Multicultural Affairs Portfolio. Uh, Eddie's had a long contact with this club. His dad was a past president of this club. I don't know whether Martin's here today. Is he? Where is he? Hi. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. I can see you. Hello, Marty. Welcome. Uh, Eddie was elected to council in March 2010 and re-elected in 2012 for a further term of four years. Um, I'd also like to acknowledge, while well, I've got Eddie up here, the generous City of Greater Geelong grant this club received to fund this particular, particular program today. And also last year, City of Greater Geelong were very generous in part funding our new children's playground and barbecue area that is currently under construction. So, Eddie, over to you now. Dobar dan in dobro došli. Sem člane Slovencem in prijatelje. Jaz sem Eddie Kontel in ve ime Mesto Geelong. Čestitam Australsko-Slovensko kulturno in športno društvo Ivan Sarkel za 60 obletnico. Good afternoon and a big Geelong welcome to all of you. Thank you. A big Geelong welcome to all of you, but particularly all the beautiful Slovenians that are in the room here today. On behalf of the City of Greater Geelong, congratulations to the Australian Slovenian Cultural and Sport Association Geelong Ivan Tunker on your 60th anniversary. What a wonderful achievement. First of all, Council also acknowledges Wadawurrung, the traditional owners of this land, and all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people who are part of the Greater Geelong community today. I know that there has been many acknowledgements, but it really would be remiss of me if I didn't go over some of those. Her Excellency, Ambassador of the Republic of Slovenia, Ms. Helena Drobnevšek Zorko. Prosper. <laughs> Congratulations on your most recent appointment. It really is an absolute pleasure to have you here in Geelong with us today. Dobro došli. Christine Cousins, MP, State Member for Geelong. Thank you for joining us, Christine. Lovely job with the Dobro done. <laughs> All the Slovenian Honorary Consuls, representing various states of Australia, and I've had the pleasure of meeting most of you today and those that I haven't all met uh, throughout the day. But first of all, Nevenka Gok Clark, Adrian Vatovic, and Anthony Tomasin. Welcome to you, welcome to Geelong. Michael Martinez, my good friend, CEO of Diversitat. Peter Mandel, Mandel, representatives from the Slovenian Australian Chamber of Commerce. And of course, Australian Slovenian Cultural and Sports Association, Geelong Acting President, Aldo Ferlan, and Assistant Secretary, Dan Ferlan. Dan does an amazing amount of work here at the club, and I know that at the moment he's uh, taking the, taking the heavy, lifting, heavy lifting for organising a lot of what occurred today, uh, or what's, what's about to occur over the next couple of days, along with the committee. All of the Australian Slovenian Cultural and Sports Association, Geelong, past presidents, in particular, our immediate past president, Marta Murhur, who has done so much for the club in recent years. Thank you to all of you. Thank you for your leadership. We could not have been here 60 years on without, without your contribution.
We also acknowledge and thank all of the past and present committee members, club members, and importantly, our founding members. Thank you, without your commitment and dedication, today also would not have been possible. Zaveramo se tudi in se zahvalamo sem pretekli in sedanje predsednike, člane odbore, člane kluba Ostravsko, Slovensko, Kulturno in Športno društvo, Ivan Sakr. Hvala. Braz vašega dela in vodnega danes ne bi bolo mogoče. Also, a big welcome to all of the dignitaries and guests here this afternoon. What a wonderful occasion and opportunity we have to celebrate here today, the 60th anniversary of the, of the auspicious Australian-Slovenian Association Geelong. Whilst the Slovenian community in Australia is small compared to many other multicultural groups, the Slovenian community are certainly strong, they are certainly passionate and successful people who have made tremendous contribution to not only Geelong, but to Australia as a nation. With your culture, your art, your heritage, music, language, song, your sporting feats, your voluntary work, and your economic and political contribution. Like many migrants in the early 50s, the Slovenian people worked hard to establish themselves in the community and give back to the region. Today, what you are and what I am is proud and passionate Slovenian Australians, but not forgetting where you have come from or where your ancestors are from. After 60 years, this is evident here today with the traditions and that you continue to uphold, with the beautiful dance hall and club rooms that you have here, the Slovenian language school that continues to prosper, as Dan Fidlam already alluded to. The state-of-the-art Belinz Arena, or Slovenian Bowls Arena, for those that uh, do not understand the word Belinz, and the beautiful religious chapel outside on the hill here in lovely banks. All of these are open to the community, have been funded and built by the local Slovenian community. You put your hands together for all the great work you do for our community. Thank you very much. Shenkat, chastite za šestiset obletniso, hvala in se najboljše. Hvala. I'd just like to make one comment about um, Eddie Comtel. I probably met Eddie maybe six years ago for the first time. I didn't come up here often as a young person and um, sort of joined the club about six years ago. And I believe it was Eddie and I think Melinda Mruck decided we hadn't had a Slovenian school for quite a while. And um, Eddie called the meeting. A few of us came up here and before you knew it, we had a Slovenian school up and running, a committee. And we did very well with that. Within a couple of years, we had up to 30 students, junior and senior class running, and it was just very successful. But for me, it was a privilege to work with someone like Eddie, who really gets behind something and makes sure it happens. And we've gotten very well ever since, and we often um, phone each other up and have, have a bit of a chat about how things are going. So, but I'll always remember those early days at the Slovenian school that we reinvented six years ago. I'd now like to call on Michael Martinez, OAM, and CEO of the Diversitat organisation, which is also known as the Ethnic Communities Council. It's a non-profit organisation dating back to 1976, and Michael has been the CEO since 2005. So give Michael a welcome to Probably all need to stand up now, don't you? Because there's been quite a few speeches. Do you need to do the hokey pokey? So let me let me first of all start off. I've, uh, the irony of the situation is that um, I've been elevated today to OAM, 
which is an honour that I don't have. <laughs> but I'll wear it for the day anyway. And it's why it's ironical is because this week in the Geelong Advertiser, I wrote a piece about um, the fact that Malcolm Turnbull got rid of Danes and Knights, <laughs> <laughs> which is um, a good thing, isn't it? Do you think we should have sirs and... Do you think? No. Not in Australia. This is Australia, isn't it? So, um, it's always a pleasure to come to this fantastic club. It's not so much a pleasure to speak after Eddie has done the best speech of the day. So let's congratulate Eddie again. And I won't, I won't speak too long. I'll be fairly brief. And some of the things that I was asked to talk about, Chris has already spoken about, with, about regarding the refugees. But I have something while it's still fresh in my mind. Now, what's this baraka? <laughs> Is that Slovenian? Ah, porque en español también se dice baraka, no? Sí, es baraka. That's the shed. So when I was a kid in, in Hamlin Heights, we used to have the hot water in the shed, in la baraka. And I used to have to get the newspaper and heat it up. And even after Dad finished the house and put the shower inside, we still had to go out on the weekends and have the shower. Because, of course, that was recycled in the newspaper. You know? You didn't have to pay for hot water. So, obviously, Castellano, Spanish and Slovenian must have some kind of linguistic root going back somewhere there. A baraka. I don't know what happened in the shed up here. I'd like to know. I bet you. I bet you it was illegal. <laughs> or what? They used to make liquor. Ah, yeah. What are they called? The liquor. <laughs> ah, okay. So I, I do need to acknowledge that, on a serious note, that we are standing on the Wuthering Country, the Indigenous people and their elders, past and present. And of course, we have, um, we do have our esteemed ambassador here today. Um, Oh, 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 um, Ambassador Helena, that's all I'll say. I'll, I'll, I'm sure I'll stuff up the, the surname. We have a number of consuls, and I'll cheat by just saying your first names, Adrian, Navenka, and Anthony. And of, all, of, of course we have Eddie, who, you know, Eddie and his brother Stretch, I think are probably two of the most significant Slovenian sons of Geelong, and have contributed both of them so much to the city in many different ways. And um, I do acknowledge Eddie, and, my, and as he said, uh, my friendship with Eddie is, is growing every day. I'll try something here. Eddie's still the event shed, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> If I made a mistake, that you can blame Grazia. And this is your Grazia at the office. So, thank you for inviting me to your 60 year celebration. Um, it is quite incredible, isn't it, that um, 60 years is, uh, I guess, a very long period of time in, in Geelong's brief history, particularly in terms of uh, the multiculturalism, um, which actually wasn't even in. in in, in vogue 60 years ago. It wasn't until the mid 70s, as you know, with Gough Whitlam and Al Grasby, or you know, some say Malcolm Fraser, anyway, we won't get into that. It's bi bipartisan, which is a good thing. So it is an amazingly important thing that um, you have not only established this club all those years ago, but you flourish. I think one of the most important things about clubs like this is that. Everybody knows that mental health is a big issue today, isn't it? It probably ha has always been. The thing about mental health is if you are isolated and you're not engaged and you don't get out and do things, it can lead to further issues around depression and social isolation. So these clubs provide a fantastic platform for people. Um, and that's obviously evident when you, you see how you've all flourished here. You see the um, activities that have gone on here over the last 60 years. 
I'd love, to, I'd love to know the numbers. Wouldn't it be a great thing to know how many people have come here over those 60 years? How many romances have flourished? How many, well, they may have, might have turned sour over a night here or something. Um, but it is about life, isn't it? And it's about, living, it's about living in a society and engaging in that society. And it's about um, loving each other and also, the important thing is the values that you have about respect, and they're the values of diversity, the Geelong Ethnic Communities Council, which you've been a member of, they're saying 28 years, I thought it was 30 years. So the Slovenian Association, and I, I have got the proper, uh, in, on, the, on the plaque there, because <laughs> it's a quite a long name, it is the Australian Geelong Slovenian Association, which is in, interesting. but. Um, it's important that you've been involved with us for all those years in terms of your engagement with the Geelong Ethnic Communities Council. Because today, as Chris was saying, there is challenges around our new multiculturalism and there's people who are obviously, the way those ones who are from maybe the, um, the dominant um, part of our history are feeling a little threatened, I would suggest. Because what's happening now is people from non-English speaking backgrounds are becoming the majority. So we're not the minority anymore, people like you and me. We're actually the majority in Victoria and in Australia. So I think that is um, something to think about. And also then in terms of when we do open our arms up to the new refugees, I was asked to speak about that. And I think Chris has already covered it a fair bit. We should also think about those ones in our own community who maybe don't come to the club, yeah? So those ones who, for whatever reason, don't feel they can come and fit in here, because they're the ones we also would like to work with. You know, what's really important is our age support services at Diversitat. So we run activity groups, because our older people, we think, are our most precious part of our community. And we would like, to engage more with the Slovenian, the older groups here from your community. We are opening our doors up to a new premises that we're going to build in Nor Lane at the hub. We're going to build a $2 million facility there. It's, it's going to be called a healthy living centre. We've already got one million and we're on our way to getting the next million. And that is going to be specifically for people who are over 65. It's day activities. So it means that we'll engage um, workers and provide a, a safe and friendly and happy a atmosphere during the day and do activities. So if you want to know more about that, you can come and talk to me after the speeches. So the Geelong, Australian Geelong Slovenian Association, Ivan Sanka, um, has participated in every single PACO Festa. So congratulations for that. So Paco Festa started in 1983, so that's a significant achievement, even longer than your association with that. So to celebrate that, and also your 60 years, I've got a little gift here. And if you come and have a look at this, you'll see it's a collage, it's a montage of all the different Paco Festas with some beautiful photographs which um, I think it's quite nice. So we would hope that you hang this up in your hall. And also, we have a little check here. Just see here? Just a little one. Because <laughs> our budget's bench, bench not as big as the city of Greater Geelong's. So I'm not gonna say too much, except that thank you very much for inviting me here. You've already heard all the good things about multiculturalism. I don't need to repeat that. The Slovenia Association is a very important member of the Geelong Ethnic Communities Council, that's Diversitat, which is 50 ethnic groups now. So congratulations and I hope you have another 60 years. Thank you very much, Michael. I'm sure we'll find a wall where we can pin this up and it'll hang there as proud a place.
I'd now like to call on Peter Mandel, OAN, JP, and member of the Council of the Government of the Republic of Slovenia for Slovenians Abroad, just to come up and say a few words. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Mr. Ferrani, and congratulations on your work. I admire you. I only know you and I have the pleasure to work with you for, uh, let's say, just on 12 months. But uh, I think Association of Ivan Sankar is lucky to have you. Once again, congratulations. <laughs> Mr. Vice President, Aldo Furlan, Your Excellency Ambassador of the Republic of Slovenia, Lena de Noce Zorko, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great pleasure and honor to be here with you today when you're celebrating this very important milestone in history of your club. And I must say that in the last 35 years I was associated and worked with your association in one or other capacity and it was a pleasure indeed. Your association demonstrated all this year ability to identify the requirements within the Slovenian community of Geelong and right through Victoria. By establishing a meeting place, you build Slovenian cultural center, continue with Slovenian traditions, establish Slovenian school to teach Slovenian language, folklore, handcraft, bocce, etc., etc. In 1976, your organization by a key law to establish Slovenian bowling association within Victoria. And you continue again in 1984. Uh, you play an important part establishing umbrella organization, council, Slovenian organizations of Victoria, which you are a member all these years and it's still going strongly. You found, your founder six years ago like the foundation of friendship and goodwill, which you retired right through all these years and I hope that your children will follow your footsteps. Ceni negostje, dragi rojaki, dragi člani. V teh trenutkih, po teka 60 let, od kar so vaši predniki zaurali ledino, zasejali našo novo nivo v naši novi domovini, nivo, ki je danes dozorela v zlato klasje, v katero krug danes režemo mi in nudimo našim potomcem. Danes skupaj praznujemo to, kar ste z vašem trudom omogočili, zgraditi to veko slovensko kulturno in športno središče Ivan Sankar Džilonc. V imenu moje žene Ive, v mojem imenu vam iskreno čestitam in vam želim obvilo uspeha v letih pred vami. Hvala in zapalni dan. Thank you, Peter. I'd now like to call on Gus Devati, uh, President of the Austrian Club here in Geelong, just to say a few words. Thanks, Gus. And give him a warm welcome. Good afternoon, and thank you very much in the first place for the kind invitation to come to this magnificent celebration here. Shortly, on behalf of my committee and the members, congratulations to a magnificent 60 years, which is really great. And I wish you many, many more years, maybe another 60 years, successful years yet so far. Congratulations again and all the best. Thank you. I'd like to hand over a little plaque to commemorate this.
I'd now just like to call on Robert Walters, who is here in his capacity as the um, treasurer, I think, from the Australian Slovenian Australian Chamber of Commerce. Treasurer? You're the treasurer? No. Secretary. Treasurer. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, thank you and uh, congratulations to all of you uh, for your great work and your anniversary. Uh, Robert's my name. I'm representing the Chamber of Commerce, um, which was recently formed. Uh, and is based out of Sydney, and on behalf of the Chamber members, which I'll name them, um, thank you for the invitation to, uh, to talk this afternoon. Um, going back uh, about 12 months ago, I was in Slovenia um, with Anthony Tomajin, and <clears throat> we presented to a business uh, forum over there about exchanges of ideas and engaging the Slovenian community in Slovenia and Australia. Uh, what fell out of that was uh, the establishment of the uh, Slovenian and Australian Chamber of Commerce, which is based out of Sydney, and the honorary consuls, Adrian, Nevenka, uh, along with um, Tony, myself, Mark and others, have been working very hard behind the scenes. We're not seeing all that much, but working very hard behind the scenes over the last 12 months to establish this Chamber of Commerce. And so what we're, we're aiming to do is engage all the community, and not just from a business perspective. While our first aim and principal aim is to get bilateral arrangements and uh, agreements going between uh, businesses, we're also enhancing our engagement with the, uh, with the community right across Australia, and hence we've got our HCs uh, strongly represented to the uh, Chamber of Commerce. Um, secondly, we'd also like to thank the work that the Embassy from Canberra has done, and they have worked tirelessly in the background in providing us valuable resources and valuable information to establish the Chamber. So thank you to Helena and her team, and particularly Yana, who isn't here today. She's worked tirelessly in the background, for those of you who don't know or do know uh, Yana. Um, so as part of where we have come from and where we are today, uh, 2014, um, we met in uh, Ljubljana, we're now um, members of the European Australian uh, Business Council, which just came through recently in the last month. So there's a, a, a team of us who have worked tirelessly behind the scenes to engage them. And they're a, a very strong platform for us to go uh, forward with and expand our reach and our um, relations with other chambers. So we've had discussions with the Austrian Chamber also the Italian Chamber of Commerce. Um, thirdly, we've also started to engage academics and we have a very unique and strong academic uh, representation here in Australia, not only in Australia but around the world. Um, and what we're trying to do is better understand those people and those leaders in the academic world and also the bis business world. Um, for such a small population worldwide, Slovenians, and, and I'm a dual citizen as well, um, we are leaders across many sectors, uh, government, academia, the business world, and what we want to do is enhance that. And furthermore, uh, I notice there's a, a lot of retirees here and, and they've made a, a valuable contribution, but we also need to work with our younger generation and engage them and bring them in into the community, not only uh, from a, a standpoint of um, building relations between ourselves, but also from a business world. Because it's the younger generation, and they're very articulate and savvy with uh, new, new technology that can enhance what we're going to do in the future. Um, secondly, uh, we also established a, uh, an academic um, association which was announced uh, earlier this year uh, and that was in Melbourne. Um, there's a, a, 
a couple of us working behind the scenes on, on that um, particular association and one's based in um, Slovenia at the moment and we're linking ourselves very closely with the Office of Slovenes Abroad in Ljubljana. Um, so we're hoping to also engage other academics from uh, other countries as well. So we, we have a, a bright future, um, but we also are looking towards community and people like yourselves to also come forward and assist us in building that relationship uh, between Slovenia and Australia. Thank you, Robert. So, does, if there's any business people in attendance today, good chance to have a talk to Robert and maybe you can do some joint business with Slovenia. I'd now like to ask on Roland Carmody, President of the Combined Slovenian Organisations of Victoria, to come up and say a few words. And Roland, once you've finished um, your speech, perhaps we move straight into the um, Planica Choir performance, which I understand your um, choir will set up on the floor just down there. Yep, it'll save you getting up twice. Speech. <laughs> I think you'll be uh, <clears throat> tired of listening to another long one. <laughs> Madam Ambassador Elena Ternoshek, Mr. Aldo Furlan, President of Club Ivan Tankar of Geelong, and all club presidents and past presidents, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. May I welcome you on behalf of the Council of Slovenian Organisations of Victoria to the official presentation of the plaque commemorating the club Ivan Sankar's 60th anniversary. Without further ado, may I ask Mr. Al Furlan to join me on the podium of the stage and accept this keepsake. I'll wait for you, Alba. <laughs> Just this 
Oh, for those of you who didn't understand, when it was the 50th anniversary, Gospadi Ia put together as many photos as she could find of our previous presidents on a little sort of well, a big white cardboard up on the mezzanine floor and there were quite a few missing. So years later, when I kept walking past that photo collage, I decided we're going to do something about it. And with the help of Mario Gico, I mean, we collected a lot of uh, photos. As Lydia said, we had to ring around all different places. 
Then I approached my friend Mario Gico, who digitized them, enhanced them, because some of them were not in the greatest condition. And I thank Mario for his great work. And today we can unveil all of our presidents, bar one, Marty and, no, Frank Bizia. Then no matter how much I asked, no one was able to come up with a picture, but we have left a spot for him. So thank you, Lydia, if you could unveil it. Sorry, oh well, something I did forget, good Lord, that's called nerves. Could all of our past presidents that are here today please come up to the photo so we can get um, up to this collage so we can get some photos taken. Mirko Sneller, Joža Ramuta, Lois Kakucher, Francesca Dejela. There are others, but they're not here with us today. Oh, and Marian Pontel. Oh my gosh, please. Yes, Pusada, please leave a tribuca. Bruce and Jimmy Pershi. Oh, yeah. Zegush, the word that Pushka should be long.
digital presentation oh, put together by Yoga Shito. So it might take us a minute or so to get the projection screen down, etc. So just bear with us.
Jana did a fantastic job. That was just a great presentation. Thank you, Jana, for a great applause. So, it's now time for the birthday cake. The 60th anniversary birthday cake. I'd like to thank everyone for attending today. And we've got our 60th anniversary birthday cake. It's now going to be cut. And then it will be cut up into smaller pieces later and everyone will have an opportunity to sample it. Thank you everyone. <laughs>
thank you, Joe and Giannis, our resident piano accordionist. They do a wonderful job, and I don't know what we'll do without them. Give them a great round of applause. Give yourselves a big round of applause for joining in and singing. I'd now like to just finish the program by thanking everyone for attending. I'd like to make a special mention of some sponsors today. We had Frank Stanko Engineering sponsoring the bowling out the back. We had Bistro St. John, French restaurant in Moorabool Street, that has been very generous with their donations. Also, Sakita Meats in Bell Park, and of course, City of Greater Geelong, as previously mentioned. Special thank you to all volunteers, people who helped in organise this event over the last few months. It doesn't just happen, a lot of work happens in the background. Thanks to Yana Van Gogh and Shultan for all the work you put in Yana, much appreciated. Thank you to everyone. Too nervous to mention that you all know who you are. So now, yes. Yeah. So now I'd ask if you could clear the hall because we need to rejig the hall for dinner. So you'll need to exit out that door and towards the back, the bars will be open. Okay, sorry, someone was saying something to me. Yeah. So you exit that way and just clear the hall for the official government party. You've got a um, citizenship ceremony in that room there. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.